Hi, I'm Peter Bryant, a uh, contractor with Camber Corporation, and I work for ADM. My project, the one I'm going to talk about, is the Husky Mounted Detection System Surrogate. The Husky is a mine detection vehicle which uses these plates to detect metallic uh, mines or any kind of object. To enhance this capability, they added a ground penetrating radar which fits in the panels in the front of the vehicle. This is a red pack, which is what we use to build our mock up. So you will notice that there's no cab here. However, the front end and the rear end are the same. Um, the ground penetrating radar can detect objects up to four foot in depth. The problem with that is, uh, or with this kit, is that the visibility from the driver, which you can't see up there, um, I can't see the end of these panels. So they have problems with hitting structures or other vehicles, uh, objects in the ground that are sticking up. So uh, the, the problem with that is that the costs are excessively high for any kind of maintenance or repair. Sustainability is, is um, extremely expensive. So they tasked us to build a surrogate. Um, which is, this is the HMDSSS, which is the Husky Mounted Detection System surrogate. Normally, the panels on the real vehicle are $40,000 a piece. We've, uh, we've been able to build this mock-up, and the panels are now $400 a piece, so that's a, about 1% of the original cost. And the idea being that these end pieces here, uh, this is where most of the damage occurs. So, this cap here is only $100. To greater uh, enhance the capability of this training asset, we've added radio frequency detection system in it. So we have radio frequency transmitters and we bury radio frequency tags. So as this thing, as the vehicle drives along, it picks up the tag and the tag tells the system what it has just run over. So it simulates the real, a real world environment. So if the enemy is buried in IED, we have a tag that is an IED or, or tells the computer that it's an IED. When the system runs over the tag, uh, it gets a signal and gets the same signal to the software that the user would normally see. So as this training asset, it can simulate real world training. Um, to further enhance that, we've added a GPS uh, system into it. The GPS, you can plug in the points, the driver drives along. As he, as he hits those points in the GPS system, it does the same thing that tags do. However, you can use it anywhere. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to bury tags, you don't have to recover the tags, and uh, it's a good option, especially for things like driving over asphalt or um, in a field that you don't want to disrupt. So that's it, that's the HMDSS.